As pressure on the economy grows tighter in parts of rural Texas, the Houston SPCA has been hit hard with an increase in abandoned animals. Investigators like Octavio Gonzalez respond to these cases on a daily basis. As he posts a notice on another empty property, a call comes in from a livestock deputy in Harris County. Six dogs on property with a deceased animal. It's another abandonment case, but this time it's a mare, and she's in grave danger. It's in really bad condition, so um, I'm headed out there right now to meet with the, with the deputy and um, bring the horse over to the SPCA. Sadly, these cases are increasing due to the high cost of feed and affordable grazing land. Hello, sir. What's going on? Deputy Sheriff Ricky nice. Baker is already at the scene. So is she able to stand up? I, I, I believe we're going to be able to get her up. She was. The mare has collapsed. Uh, She's extremely malnourished and very weak. When I first came by here, she was standing. Okay. Um, the there mayor has been down for a while, and now she's in real danger of not getting up again. The weight of her body can place extreme pressure on her internal organs, preventing blood circulation that could damage her muscles and nerves. I think it's just disgusting that somebody could let an animal go this far like this. Um, I've had horses in the past, and, and if, if you're not going to take care of them, you don't need them. It's critical that they get the mare to her feet quickly and transport her to the Houston SPCA. She's, she's weak. She's very emaciated. She's weak, and uh, we're going to see if we can get her up. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Easy, 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 easy. Come on. It's a huge relief that she's able to stand. She's one of the thinnest horses Gonzalez has ever seen. We usually rate the horses on uh, body condition scores between one being emaciated, uh, five being ideal, and 10 being uh, grossly obese. Uh, this horse is clearly a body condition of a one. It usually takes months for a horse to get this emaciated. They don't know how long she's been left like this, but the halter gives them an idea. The flies are all over his head because if you see underneath this rope, it's been there so long that it's actually wore a spot into the, past the skin, into the meaty part of the horse. As soon as we get it, so we can get that off of there. If that knot's rubbing that, and just rub the hole in the head. She almost right. has no strength left. Her body is beginning to shut down, and a sudden intake of food now yes. could dangerously overload her digestive system, possibly leading to death. The effort to climb onto the trailer leaves her extremely exhausted. They hope she can at least stay on her feet for the journey to the Houston SPCA shelter. The severely emaciated mare rescued from Harris County has somehow found the strength to make it to the Houston SPCA. Dr. Denise Katz is waiting in the barn to examine her. What a good mare. The staff has named her Giselle and they weigh her right away. 676. Wow. A mare of this size should be at least 1,000 pounds, if not uh, more. So um, she's extremely underweight. Uh, she'll have to gain that slowly. That's not something we want her to pick up right away. Uh, so we'll uh, start to refeed her slowly. Um, we won't give her grain right away. She'll get hay. Uh, she'll have free access to water. Um, and even actually just her regaining her normal hydration status will gain a lot of weight for her because horses need to drink a lot um, in order to maintain that uh, good hydration. Um, and a dehydrated horse will weigh much less than it really should, even at the thin body condition she is today. Yeah, it's right on that one. And in addition to her severely emaciated condition, Dr. Katz is also concerned about her halter injury. Was, did she have a lot of slack when you guys found her, or was she pretty he, tight he to the tree? was the one that found her. No, uh, at first, when I first found her, we broke her, had her head pulled down. It was tied around her, her front right foot. It was tangled all up. I OK, so that makes sense. And, and untangled it and retied it on there. So okay. she can have some head. That makes sense, because if you see, yeah. she has a really nice indent there. And that's why yeah. we have that big sore. Once they remove the old knotted rope and put a new halter on, 
Equine supervisor Emily Doing applies a medicated cream to protect the wound. Basically what it does is keep the flies off of her face. We want to keep the flies off that wound to avoid getting maggots or anything in there. We don't want the flies laying in the eggs in there. Dr. Katz, do you think we should do her vaccinations today as well, or wait? They're going to take it slowly. Right now, she's exhausted from her ordeal. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it today. Yeah. She's closing her eyes and just going to sleep. She's just enjoying being rubbed and being loved on. And just to get her halter off, has to feel a lot, lot better to get away from that wound. It's not rubbing anymore. So she just feels safe and secure, so she's just Taking a little rest, napping. We're going to go ahead and put her in her stall, and then she'll have water and hay and, and be happy in there. Giselle is now in safe hands. You're sleeping? But the next 24 hours will determine if she's going to recover or deteriorate further. Once a horse goes down, that's a really bad sign. Um, so the longer that horse is down, uh, the worse the prognosis gets. Giselle has made a remarkable recovery, and equine supervisor Emily Dewing is relieved she's made it this far. She was about as skinny as they can possibly be standing up. I mean, she was really one of the worst that we've ever seen. So she's doing really well now. She's made a significant improvement as she's come along. She's gained a lot of muscle. She's gained muscle up through her neck. She has muscle here now. You can see down through her chest, too, her bones not sticking out anymore. Good girl. Good girl. She weighs 820 now, which is a significant improvement. She weighed close to 600 when she came in, so that's a considerable amount of weight. I mean, 200 pounds is a lot of weight for her to put on in a short period of time. Along with the weight gain, her natural perky personality has recovered too. Her character is very uh, prima donna-esque. She likes to talk to all the other horses. She likes to act like she's the best one here. <laughs> She is a really pretty girl, so I don't blame her.